Video lecture, perinatal environment. What is the typical perinatal environment like? What hazards can occur during the birth process? The perinatal environment is the environment surrounding birth. It includes influences such as drugs given to the mother during labor, delivery practices, and the social environment shortly after birth. It used to be commonplace for women to deliver their babies at home, surrounded by family. But there was a shift towards birth being a medical problem that needed to be treated in a hospital. Even though we don't necessarily believe that anymore, most women in the United States still give birth in hospitals. Childbirth is a three-stage process. During the first stage, the mother has regular contractions of the uterus and ends when her cervix has fully dilated so that the fetus's head can pass through. This stage lasts an average of nine hours for firstborn children and four to six hours for later born children. The second stage is delivery. The head passes through the cervix into the vagina and ends when the baby emerges from the, ba the mother's body. The mother is told to push during the stage to help the baby through the birth canal. For firstborn, it takes about one hour. For later deliveries, it can be 15 to 20 minutes. The last stage is the delivery of the placenta, which lasts only a few minutes. Anoxia is shortage of oxygen during birth. Anoxia is, a, is dangerous primarily because brain cells die if they are starved of oxygen for more than a few minutes. Anoxia can occur because the umbilical cord has been pinched or tangled. Maternal sedatives reached the fetus and interfered with breathing. Mucus prevented normal breathing or the baby was in a breech position. Severe anoxia can cause poor reflexes, seizures, heart rate irregularities, breathing difficulties, memory impairment, or cerebral palsy. Severe anoxia also increases the risk of learning or intellectual disabilities and speech difficulties. Milder anoxia makes some infants irritable at birth or delays their motor and cognitive development, but usually it does not lead to permanent problems. Cesarean section is an alternative to normal vaginal delivery. Used when the baby is too large or the mother is too small, the fetus is out, out, of, out of position when the placenta prematurely separates from the uterus or fetal monitoring reveals that a birth complication is likely. In 2007, 32% of U.S. births were C-section. Many cesareans may be unnecessary, but may be preferred by mothers who had a C-section with her first child, or by the physician because there is less risk of complications than a vaginal birth. Mothers may be given sedatives or pain relievers while giving birth. Sedatives can cross the placenta to the infant, and large doses can make the baby sluggish, irritable, and difficult to feed or cuddle, and smile infrequently. In essence, you are also giving the drug to your baby. The most common drug given to de delivering mothers is oxytocin. It speeds up contractions and moves the labor along quicker. This is considered safe and doesn't seem to harm the fetus.